now we're going to tour to another part of the world and enjoy two contestants who are looking at Indonesia. So first off, I'd like to introduce Leopold Sudiano. Leopold is from the ANU College of Arts and Social Sciences, and the title of his presentation tonight is Overcoming Prison Overcrowding in Indonesia. Indonesia is a beautiful country. It's like a paradise with wonderful beaches and heavenly resort where many visitors, perhaps like you, love to stay there forever. But perhaps not in this part of Indonesia. Here in Jakarta prison, you have to eat, sleep, and defecate with 45 other inmates in a small, smelly cell just designed for 10 people, three times the size of this screen. You may think, so what? They all are evil. They deserve to suffer. Just leave them there. But do you know that half of them are there for committing victimless crimes, like using drugs or street gambling? They cause no harm to anyone, and yet were jailed for years for that. If you were the judge, will you still think in human condition like this, is a fair sentence? Since I started my PhD here 30 months, uh, four days ago, I got my own chalk on the wall for that, <laughs> the prison population has exploded by 37.5%. The growth rate is four times of the world average. The prison overcrowding has become an enormous burden on the state and society. My research seeks to understand the incentives within the justice system that drives prison overcrowding. Questions like, why do police and prosecutors detain offenders for the maximum period of four months before taking the case to court, while actually the investigation completed in the first week? What is in it for them? And my research reveals some interesting findings. For instance, the arrest target, which has led to the prison overcrowding, is actually a key performance indicator in the bureaucratic reform. What a contradiction. The policy-making process in the Ministry of Justice in which I had involved need to be informed on how to tackle those drivers. And this is what my research will provide. Options like by, sh by imposing shorter period of detention and simple trials for victimless crimes for instance, with the hope that more than 120,000 of offenders in Indonesia, half of them, my fellow country people, as well as some of yours, may get fair sentences. And then perhaps next time, when you visit Indonesia, it will be a true paradise, a wonderful and just country. Thank you. <laughs> 